Hello, everybody. I know what you might be thinking. Is Zane giant? Is he like the same size as a Christmas tree? And the answer is yes. I'm a very large man. So uh, what I wanted to do here today is um, in past years, I've put out a motion graphics end of the year wrapped video for Tall Skeleton, and I've even done end of the year podcasts. And uh, this year, I just frankly did not have the time or energy to do either. So I thought I would just kind of do a little bit of a candid video talking about uh, just being thankful for 2022 and some of the things that have happened this year. So this is sort of a Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's wrap up. I'm going to say, you know, Happy New Year, what I'm thankful for. Got a Christmas tree right here. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So last year, um, I think I ended Tall Skeleton with 11,000 subscribers, and now I'm up to just about 32,000. Um, so yeah, this year we tripled the channel, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, I'm just so thankful for that. It, it's just really exciting, and it just makes me feel more and more like my filmmaking and my video making is going great, and uh, things will just keep getting better from here. So yeah, I just want to keep making things, and thanks to everybody so much for watching. I finally got to put out my short film, Springtime in Tempe, which I think is my best work as a filmmaker. I came up with the idea in 2019. I worked on it for the following years through the pandemic and to see it through to completion and also get uh, Ryan Camus as my composer. I'm just so happy about it. I wanted him to do the music so bad. Finally got to help uh, Tech Club get his album rollout going with the album visualizer, the album cover, and putting out the single music video for Don't Take It Personal, which also for me, I, I think of as a short film and some of my best work so excited it's my favorite album of the year and uh, I just appreciate Elijah so much for allowing me to um, be such a big part of his uh, debut project uh, release finally put out my big video essay about Donald Glover and why I'm so inspired by him and uh, that video alone has brought more people to the channel than any other singular video so it's just really exciting that the culmination of all that work, you know, came through in such a big way. And then also uh, my podcast with Adele Etheridge Woodson. Um, I was really happy to get to do that. And that became the second ever podcast I've done that's broken a thousand views. So I'm definitely planning on doing uh, more podcasts next year. And I'm hoping more and more of them can sort of see that kind of success. And yeah, you know, th this year has been a lot of change. It's given a lot. It's taken a lot. Um, on a personal level, you know, I'm, I, I got to meet my girlfriend this year and I just, I love her so much. She's my favorite person to spend time with and I'm just so happy to be with her. And that's, you know, made this year just special in such amazing ways. I got to shoot my first feature film. I, I can't talk too much about it, but uh, my friends directed and produced a feature film and I got to be the cinematographer. So that's something I'm going to be working on in post-production as well um, going into this next year. And I'm really excited to share personal details about that. And then, uh, you know, my day job I've had for like almost five years. I got laid off. I lost my job. But in some ways, it feels like a real opportunity for growth and, you know, seeing what else I can do. And also, you know, lately I've just been really enjoying working on my own projects. And this makes it to where it's like if I have free time, I might as well be filmmaking and working on YouTube videos and films. So... Going into next year, I'm just uh, very optimistic and I'm very thankful for all of the amazing experiences I've had this year and uh, people I've met. And, you know, if I'm being honest, I struggle a lot with depression and sometimes lack of motivation. And sometimes, you know, everything I do, I can it, it, it can be hard. And it can feel like, you know, is this even worth it? Why am I doing this? Am I doing a good job? And it, it can be it can be really, really hard. So anytime, you know, people wind up enjoying the stuff I've made and they uh, subscribe to the channel or people personally reach out and say nice things to me, it just, uh, it really means the world. And I think as much as that validation from others is really nice, it's also something I need to give myself. And that's why, you know, lately as I've been working on more and more projects, I just want it to be like a fun thing that I'm doing and kind of take filmmaking and making art off of a pedestal and just kind of bring it back to a place of just being what I'm doing for fun. And that's sort of why I'm making a casual video like this, just so impromptu and one take, because I want to be able to just make more casual things like this too. I think I might be releasing vi videos on my uh, side channel. I want to start making sketches with my friends. I, you know, I just want to do like more and more and more and have it not feel so hard and just be, you know, like what I'm doing for fun. So thank you everybody who, you know, is my friend. I, I love you so much. Um, 
and thank you for anybody who gives a shit about the stuff that I make. It just, it, it means a lot. And, um, I have a lot of really exciting things that I'm working on right now that should be coming out next year. So happy new years. Um, I love all of you and, um, thank you for 2022.